Ahmed, you have chosen a great chart or table to work with to determine what type of information will be useful in summarizing for an exam your understanding and interpretation of the table. The first thing that you would need to do is just take a few minutes and observe the similarities and the contrasts or differences in the chart. And what I see is a table displaying products for Sumlin's main exports. I would recommend that you treat this chart the same as you would any item or article that you have read as we have discussed. When you can summarize what this table is about, you will then be able to write about what you see. So a quick synopsis for me is that this table displays the exports in Sumlin's main exports. They export meat products, they export dairy products, and international tourism. I immediately recognize that two of the exports are for consumption, and the last one is for tourism. I also noticed that the years 2005, 2015, and 2025 are displayed, and the chart talks about the exports in billions of dollars. It starts at zero, going up to eight billion dollars. Now with that information, I would go to the effort, go through the effort of creating a table. Table one, table two, table three, table four. Actually it's just line item one. I want to talk about a table of three exports. I want to talk about the years featured, which are 2005 through 2025. I want to talk about two exports or consumption and one is tourism and then I'll write my summary. Before we were disconnected I asked you to do the same and this is what we came up with for your conversation. One table of exports, two it contains three items, dairy products, meat products, and international tourism and you notice that there are three different years given and you will write your summary. I'll highlight this now for you in uh, blue. This is what you came up with. Now we need to come up with three sentences for each of the four items. One, two, three, four. When you're able to come up with three sentences for each of these you'll have your appropriate number of words. So the table identifies three different exports from exports for some lands. All right. Because now we need to make sure that we're talking about item number one here. Now I'm going to change item number one here to uh, green. And I'm going to make this item here green as well so that you'll know what I'm doing specifically. So we've got one sentence from this table, I'm going to be able to determine the exports, the exports for the country. These exports are consumption and tourism. Now do I have three sentences? One, sentence one, sentence two, and I have sentence three. Now I need to go to number two. I'm going to change number two to a different color so you'll know where I am with this one. I'm going to make this one orange. Control C. I'm going to put this one here and it is going to be uh, the products displayed in the table 
represent represent the years from 2005 2015 and 2025 And I'm going to take the meat products. My the exports for meat is is significant. Or in two thousand five, than any other any other export. Okay, let's see. Any other export. So that is just two sentences. Now the third sentence is would be the The meat, well, and I'm going to do a transition here. Additionally, the meat export is, is greatly reduced in the year 2025. Okay, so there you have three sentences and you would do the same for three and four. I'm not sure if you're going to understand this without more practice in actually writing about things that are written in an article to see how it goes. Good luck. Hope this helped.